Mamas and Alpacas, this is Livy, and welcome to another episode of Alpaca Power. <laughs> That's probably one of my most cheesiest um, intros that I have, but you're not seeing me at the computer or at church. I'm actually on my bed. I'm on the top of my bed, and this isn't what I'm going to be drawing a alpaca on, is not in this sketchbook, but on this sketch pad, which is originally made for watercolors, but it's big enough for this challenge. You guys had been wanting me to do this challenge for a long time. I am right handed. So I'm going to draw an alpaca, but there's a twist to it and everybody's been requesting me to do this and I'm really nervous of how I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to be using my hand. <gasps> What? I'm not going to draw with my hand? So that means I'm going to draw with my feet. And I apologize, my feet are so ugly. And especially right now, like, my toenails still need, like, you know, filed and painted. And, um, and it's all red because in this time of the year, I turn, like, I heat up and turn red everywhere, especially my feet, and you can see my hand is turning red, too. But yeah, like, I'm, and it's so, at least I got my tattoo there. But that's been here since I was, like, what, 18, 17? But, um, so yeah, I'm going to be drawing an alpaca with my foot. Now, one thing I try to practice with is how to hold a pencil my foot. Huh, that's not as bad as I thought, like, it's not like, you know, you know, let, let out yet, but. So, I can hold that perfectly. I can hold a skinny one perfectly. But we want it to really show and, and don't have much pressure on it as I do with the pencils, even though you really shouldn't put too much pressure when it comes to pencils, but that's a habit that I had for a long time, and I'm still trying to work it out. And let's see with a Sharpie. Oh, that might be, that might be, um, ooh, that might be a little bit uncomfortable, but th that might be, um, what I need to do. I don't have to squeeze it, it just needs to park. And I need to put like, like hold it like a pencil, but with my foot. And my feet are veiny too. So gross! Yeah, I have veiny feet, they're disgusting. So, yeah, there's that, and then there's this pen. Oh, um. Oh, this is gonna be, it's easier to use. Well, it's good for drawing circles, but not for what I want. And that is very uncomfortable. So let's see how this turns out. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I, I don't know. Um. Oh my god. What is that? I'm just making scribbles. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I might... That might be something. It's a different type of... And sorry for that mess. So much art stuff and books that I'm reading. And a can of Diet Cola. Oh, I'm just making dots! Oh, oh my god, did I ruin it? I think I should do what I was doing, just like... It's hard to, um... What is that? I'm making all these unique curves and all that, but I'm not making an alpaca! Oh, no, that's too, uh... Not curved. That's a little bit, that's a little bit. Ooh, that's actually a very pretty design. And maybe 
See, I can fix those little dots. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm just getting nervous about. Ah. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> oh, no. Um, would, I, would I be cheating if I hold this with my hand like that? I don't know. I have, I'm not gonna... Uh, maybe if I use my other foot. Oh my god, what am I doing? Well, maybe this is too relaxed. Like, more like that. Rarely touching anything. Rarely doing that, so just. No. Oh. I'm not giving up on this challenge, even if it looks horrible at the end. I see, like, there are some other YouTube artists that were drawing with their feet and they were drawing, like, masterpieces, and I'm like, I'm like oh, what am I doing? doesn't look too bad, and you know what, with all that, it looks like fluff. So, okay. Lobby here. Oh. Okay. So far, so good. That looks worth it. not too bad. Even the curve is... Actually, no, that curve looks... Right now. The face. Or, no, maybe I should do the body first because I'm not ready to do the face. Maybe I should do... to a Jackson Pollock. I remember I did a project about him in high school that I had to make a Jackson Pollock like piece. But mainly I wanted to do that because that's what my brother did. So we ended up both doing that. I kind of wish I would have like but you know I was young and naive back then but I kind of do wish that I um maybe if I picked like Lisa Frank or something it would have been cool if I picked Banksy, but I didn't know Banksy back then. Except, I don't know if Banksy was popular back then or not. I don't know. I was back in like 2006, 2007. I was a freshman in high school. Okay. Those are the nastiest feet i ever seen. Those are no, those are okay, but that, oh my god, they look like claws. I can like scribble a little bit, like not just scribble, just like you know, like little lines, just to you know, give it a little fluff. Oh wow! What am I doing? Okay. No. To make it look more connected, I'm gonna fix that. Did I just whistle while I talked? Ah. Sorry that the camera's being blurry. But yeah, I'm getting a new camera really soon next year. Cannot wait. 
gonna start vlogging with it. The very first first vlog I'll do with it is with for um um Oh no, it almost looks like a Nazi sign. No, I don't support Nazis! Nazis are bad! That is terrifying! I gotta fix that nose. Maybe I can turn it into a heart or something because that looks. It still looks terrifying! What do I do? What is that? Oh, that is pretty neat what I just did. lashes and just turned out to be a triangle. Circle? I think this would be easier if I, you know, had a bigger... Oh no, what is this? No, I don't want a Nazi sign. It looks like a Nazi sign. No, what? Nazis are horrible. That's a horrible event. No, no Holocaust. No. True fact, I had a, um... Who is Jewish? Shame that I haven't heard from her again. We lost contact. We were both busy. Me with college and her um, getting into college. What is. It almost looks like a lion. Maybe I can. There's something about the face to make it look more correct. I draw a circle around the lips and the mouth. Okay, I'm gonna use that little dot to start. Let me move that. I'm gonna use that dot. Yeah, that's a decent L. That's a decent L. It would be a really real challenge to. Uh... It almost looks like a play button. Looks like I just have one V instead of two. W almost. Why? Oh, it dots everywhere. Oh well. <laughs> so this is an alpaca I've drawn with my feet. And even though I've seen like other artists like you know, nailing this challenge like, like owning it like a boss. But um, I don't know if they're like more like, like you know, they practiced more or they're just that good that they uh, draw with their feet. But this is the best I can do with my feet, and it looks cute. And look at all those scribbles. Hopefully, no, no, you know. Scribbles that could possibly mean a. And hopefully, no scribbles that could mean, you know, a symbol to something bad. Ugh, no. Playing on to that. But yeah, it's kind of cute. In my personal opinion, I hope you guys love it. Well, not love it, but. Oh my God. I don't expect you to love it, but if you like it, or. I at least tried to draw with my feet. Um, but please tell me what you think about this Picasso and not meaning the toy. I mean the alpaca Picasso. That's what it looks like to me. But yeah, 
yeah, please tell me what you think about this. And if sh I should try it again, if I should practice more and try it again, you you tell me. Or you, you just want me to do another challenge. Like I heard there's like, you know, a thumb only challenge and a no thumb challenge. Which... I'm not writing anything, so I'm not writing anything. So... I could do the no thumb challenge. Challenge. Ow, that actually hurts my thumb. But even with a little pencil, it's like, ugh, no, 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 because my thumb cannot bend like that. Which is weird because it can bend backwards. But it's, no, it's this one that could bend backwards. It can bend backwards, but it can't, like, you know, pull a pen like that. Or I can do a left hand challenge since I am right handed. So I might do a left hand challenge. But you guys tell me, and these would be all great ideas for I'll Pack a Power for 2018. Enough rambling, but hit the like button to spread the live love, and also Livy would appreciate it. And hop aboard that I'll Pack a Bandwagon. That means hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell for notification, because we need more alpacas in our daily lives, ladies and gentlemen. But this was Livy, and this had been Live Next. I'll see you next time, my friends. See ya! You wanna play?